G'day, this is Adam from AVA Magnetic Levitation Australia and this is MAD Micro RC Commods number 11. I've, basically in this video I was going to do a modification to this small little RC John Deere thing over here. <coughs> Unfortunately it has to be handed back uh, undamaged and unchanged after tonight's escapade so I would have had to have cut a hole in the back to fit a magnet and lift the motor and lower the thing and that. I'd get in trouble if I did that because I couldn't change it back without leaving some scars. So uh, what I did is I've basically taken a motor, which is a, a brush DC ferrite magnet motor, which is identical to the one inside this little car over here. But don't get me wrong, I can't modify the car with uh, the motor mod tonight, but what I can do is put a 300 milliamp power lithium ion battery in it, which is what I'll do, and I'll show footage of that at the end of this video and see what improvement we get. I've got some stock footage, I'll quickly show that, and then I'll show this thing on, on a 300 milliamp hour battery and hope I don't kill it. Um, so, to show whether you can indeed supercharge um, with uh, neodymium magnets, um, I've built this test rig. So, I'll just do a basic RPM test with uh, Standard motor, which is a ferrite based DC motor. These are very common in a lot of toys and different small RC cars and things that you can buy. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just turn it on, take an RPM test. So, up around 20,000 RPM, maybe 20,500 would be the average. So I'll take the same motor and I'll just attach these uh, neodymium magnets. Now ferrite magnets are uh, sort of the older school magnets, they don't like heat, they don't like shock, they don't like vibration, they do lose their charge if they put on a too much load. Neodymium is the opposite to all of those things except for heat. Um, but basically you can get neodiums now that can handle quite a lot of heat. Um, these are what are commonly used in cordless brush motors in all your RCs at the moment. Uh, let's see, let's see how I'll see how put that one there. Crud, picking. Oh, south there. I'm going to sort of loosely position these. Sort of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put them up near the, the dimple there. You can see that very well. Same on the other side. I'll just position it in line with the motor itself. Yep, there we go. Now, when you do this, it's obviously going to be drawing more current. It's going to draw more current, shortening the life of the motor. Um, some, some cases, you won't have enough current accessible by its standard batteries, and you may have to put a lithium in as well to help support the extra RPMs. So let's see what we get now. That's pretty cool. So we gained, effectively we gained around 5,000 RPM. Supercharging with neodymium, yes it can be done. The person that asked me online uh, a while back. Um, yeah, this is just basic rig to prove it. What I might do now is just chop out this wire here and I'll put an amp meter on and we'll do some amp readings with and without the magnets on and we'll see what sort of extra current draw we're getting. Okay, so this is the current or amp test without the neodymium magnets attached to the motor. So we're looking at one amp. Which is not that impressive. So put the magnets back on. I'll leave it recording, show there's no tricks. Get the right polarity. So generally DC motors are um, the extra RPMs proportional to having a lot more torque basically. Um, they tend to work and function with massive amounts of torque. Um, basically if it draws more current and it's doing more RPMs then it's most likely providing more, more go. I would have liked to have proven that with this but I can't. Uh, after watching this, um, you might think that it's possible. I'm pretty certain it is. Uh, I used to uh, work in this field, basically electrical fitting and armature winding was one of my trades. So yeah, basically I can almost guarantee there's going to be more power. So let's see what we get. OK, 
take? 2.1 amps. Um, don't get me wrong though, like I said, this is a bit of an odd mod, so although the motor's not even heating up um, from all the testing I've done. So that's it. Um, without the magnets, you're doing around uh, 20,500 RPMs with the neodymium magnets added to it, uh, like this. Basically, you can gain 5,000 RPM. Um, the current drawer, of course, as you just saw, is uh, a big change. It's almost, you know, just over double. So I would be a little wary um, <laughs> when I, if I ever get the chance to hack this thing up and actually do the mod I'd like to to it, because um, there's a good chance that the speed control in it might only be rated 1.5 amps or something like that. Pretty sure being a kid's toy, it's probably got good overloads and it can, it's probably very tolerant, but you just got to be a little careful. Um, you know, you put a lithium-ion battery in it, you put the magnets on, you might find that you're uh, frying stuff up a little bit. Who knows? Um, anyone's got a spare one of these, or an old one they want to send me to find out, see what happens next. Uh, I'll lower it and uh, put the magnets on, put a big battery in and see what happens, but unfortunately I can't do it to this one tonight. So what I will do instead for now is... Um, I'll put a 300 milliamp hour lithium ion battery in it instead. And move this out of the way. So I'll just quickly whack this battery in. It's pretty simple. Just wire two leads, just wire solder two leads to your battery. Or if you're uh, clever enough to think in advance, buy a battery connector that's got two leads on it. Um, yeah, it'll look something like something like that. But a bigger plug, being a 300 milliamp, this is for a small size single cell. Um, and basically what you can do then is you can just plug this in and use your stripped wire leads, you don't even have to solder anything, and just bridge them into the battery sockets. So I'll do that to this now, give you a quick look at it, and then I'll run across the floor quickly in stock, and then I'll show footage of it with the bigger battery, and, and we'll see if it goes any faster. So, um, that's it 